Another addition to Luminar AI is the analysis that is given with templates. A template is a starting point, much like if you were using Canva or PowerPoint to build a presentation or a document. It's going to give you a place to begin. Luminar AI can recognize up to 7,000 different items in a photograph. Things like the content, is there water, is there vegetation, is there a sunset? And in doing so, can suggest editing presets. Normally, presets save people time, but the challenge is finding the right one, especially when you have a lot of them loaded. You could spend a lot of time searching through your system. Templates work this way. Navigate to a folder. In this case, I went to folder 4.2. And when I choose templates, it analyzes the content. You'll now see that it makes a suggestion. So here, it recommended natural skies. I can click and see different choices, such as morning dawn here with crack of dawn morning dew. And you can see how it's applying a look. You can adjust these with the slider to dial in the strength. Now let's go back to the top level. I can go to the next image and it recommended both filmatic and nature. Well, I'm going to go with nature here and I'll choose a nice one here like micro world and it really brings out the sharpness of the object. With each of these, you are free and for this photo will analyze and come up with suggestions. And depending upon the image, you'll see different choices. You can scroll through and pick from these up top. And in this case, it recognized this as a waterscape and potentially overcast. Well, I'll go with waterscape and try cold currents. And I like that. Let's try silver flash. Well, that's a very classy black and white. Maybe I want to customize that though. So with one click, I move from templates to the edit controls. All the tools that were used have a dot next to them, making it easy to go in and refine things like accent to bring out the contrast or structure there to get rich detail in the rocks. I can go down to the black and white mixer here and I'm free to adjust that black and white. Maybe I want to change the water's intensity. And you see there by moving the blue and the cyan how I affect that. Or go after the vegetation with the green slider. So nice and simple. And if you want to add, you can do that too. Maybe I want to put a little vignette there on my edge and feather that out. So what you're doing here is having the ability to modify the template. You're still free to use all of those other AI tools that you learned about. For example, I could adjust the straightness of the photo and fix the perspective or go in and check my composition. And it's recommending a tighter crop there. Now I like that, but I'm gonna back that off just a little so it's not quite so aggressive. But I do think that the level was a nice addition. And there we have it. I could see the before and the after. If you need to tweak it, just click to go in and we can move that past that edge of the rock and it recomposes. Now, Templates are built in and they're recommended, but you can make your own too. So if you just click here, you can save this as a template. You'll now find it in your templates collection under the My Collection and User Templates. You're now free to rename this. So I'll call this Silver Nature and click Return. And it's available to me. Remember, you can look at your own collection of templates or the recommended ones, using the For This Photo to find good recommendations or manually browsing by category to easily find things that give you new ideas and inspiration.